Happy hump day guys, Lacey Lee Elliott here, and this week I am driving the all new 2021 Kia Sorento. Spoiler alert, I loved it. <laughs> I'm also gonna talk about how journalism as we have known it for a very long time is dying. And in sticking with the underlying theme of my channel, especially moving forward with 2021, the idea that life is just like one big road trip. In life, just like on a road trip, sometimes we get lost. You need to stop and ask directions or rely on technology. How do you actually know that you can trust technology or the person that you're asking? Having a great conversation behind the wheel of this Kia. And as always, if you guys enjoy the video, please subscribe to my channel and leave your comments below. Hey guys, Lacey Lee Elliott. Now I know the title of today's video was journalism is dying, but I have to be honest, I think the real truth is that journalism as most of us know it is changing. As most of you know, I've spent the last 15 or 17 years of my career in the automotive industry. And I think a great analogy as to how journalism is changing is to look at some of the changes in the automotive world. And a perfect example of that is Kia. Now behind me is the all new 2021 Kia Sorento and I love it like absolutely freaking think that this crossover is amazing now the reason that this is so relevant to today's video is because just five years ago if you had heard someone say kia in the same sentence as fabulous amazing or i love it you probably would turn the channel off walk away and think that i was a crazy person Kia as a brand has really evolved. Like many of you, I grew up thinking that Kia was kind of a cheap, unreliable brand. But that had to change. In order for Kia to stay relevant in the marketplace, they had to make some changes. And as much as most of us don't really like change, change is inevitable. No matter where you live, your race, your sex, your religion, change is a common denominator in all of our lives. A journalist is someone who is paid to collect, write, photograph, or report the news for newspapers, magazines, uh, news websites, and TV broadcasts. But already you can see how moving into 2021, this definition is not so relevant anymore. Most people aren't reading newspapers or magazines anymore. I know a lot of these things are available to access online, but the truth is these medias are still on the decline. A current issue with journalism today is, I guess you would say the business structure. It's really hard to make money as a journalist. Most journalists are always working for their next story, their next angle, and a lot of the journalists I know have another job. Over the last few years, as things have shifted and we're seeing more people show up on social media, the idea of an influencer has now become a part of how the next generation or most current people get their information. Love it or hate it, just like manufacturers are no longer making manuals anymore, the world is changing. And okay, let's get back to this 2021 Kia Sorento and more specifically Kia as a brand. I just wanna show you guys something, have a look. The interior of this thing is absolutely gorgeous. If you have a look at all of the attention to detail, the different fabrics, the nice fit and finish, everything really has an upscale and premium feel to it. Even have a lot of available features on this Kia that are available on other vehicles such as Mercedes and Lexus. Even just sitting in the back here, it has a feeling of a more luxurious vehicle. 
the point I want to make is if you go and you Google any of Kia's current vehicles, probably in the last five years or so, you're going to find very little negative reviews from the journalists. Most journalists that are getting into the new Kia vehicles have been completely blown away. But you have to remember that reviews and posts from influencers and different people are going to have different paradigms, opinions, and perspectives given on them. For example, if you're used to driving a BMW, this is a premium luxury brand you get into something like this Kia that has a much lower price point or an entry level vehicle, you're probably going to have a different feeling because honestly, this vehicle is priced lower than something like Audi, Lexus, BMW because it is a less expensive, cheaper vehicle. But if you're getting into this Sorento and you're coming from a vehicle that is either A, a whole heck of a lot older, or B, same entry level type vehicle, say Nissan or even a Toyota, you're probably going to be completely blown away. Someone who might have owned an older Kia and had a lot of problems with it can easily post on their blog or Google reviews or forums what a crappy vehicle Kia is. This is why it's really important to look at all the information and see exactly where the information and opinions are coming from. So how exactly is this Sorento relevant to the idea that journalism is changing? And really at the end of the day, what I'm saying is, how can you trust or believe the information that you have been given? Well, when I was a kid, like most of you, my parents would get up and read the morning newspaper over a cup of coffee. They'd go to work, they'd do their thing, they'd come home and they'd watch the nightly news every night at six o'clock. They're reading the same newspaper, watching the same TV. But now fast forward to 2021 and we are so overwhelmed with different news network, different social media platforms. All of this information is coming into us at so many different angles and we don't know what to do. For example, I've been at my wits end when I've been posting on Facebook and different social media platforms because no matter what I post, somebody somewhere tells me that it's not a reliable source, it's fake news. Whether it's Global National or CTV, whether it's CNN or Fox, somebody somewhere is telling me that the information I have, the sources that I have, whatever I'm quoting is fake news or not a reliable source. But if we go back to something like the Kia brand and you look at who might be reviewing it, whether their opinion is coming from someone who drives a luxury van, whether it's coming from a journalist like myself, or maybe it is coming just from some young influencer who doesn't really know much about vehicles, you as a viewer, need to make informed decisions. And I say this on my social media channels and people have actually gotten quite defensive about this because I've been saying we need to be more critical thinkers. And suddenly not listening to this one idea of the mainstream media is a bad thing. But as journalism is changing, as the world around us is evolving, we have to change how we obtain our information, where we get our information. What I'm encouraging each and every one of you to do is become your own critical thinker. When you are watching the news or reading whatever news outlet or social media feed that you get your information from, make sure that you approach your decisions based on information, logic, resources, and opinions that sit true and hold true to your heart and your value. There's two sides to every story and what's more important than ever before going ahead with 2021 is that you have information that makes sense to you in your mind. The new direction for journalism is to bring around a new way of thinking. Change is good even though for a lot of us it really is uncomfortable. But let's get excited because I really believe that the new direction of journalism is going to allow the next generation to learn and accumulate information in a new way. And that's exciting.
if you're out shopping for a new vehicle. I cannot say enough great things about the changes Kia is a Kia as a brand is making. Get out of your old way of thinking and be open to some new possibilities.